in, if Devin takes out a 22 and claps and cracks LeVon right in their shoulder right before they say go, we are all about it. So Devin Larratt, in my opinion, what a marketing, social media genius. And I, as I'm analyzing this match, it starts off with the pre-match, which is somehow can Devin get into the conversation so that he becomes the representative, you know, from, from the English speaking side of the country, at least. Um, and he had to beat Michael Todd and you have to um, make sure that LeVon ends up taking care of Dave Chafee. And then um, you get the match with John Brzezink, even though, you know, the match wasn't a hundred percent apples and oranges. I guess it was, a, it was a bit of a, 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 a Corey West match. Cause you know, the fact is, is uh, Devin was much bigger than John when they, went at it and John was still getting after it but lo and behold Devin does do the minimum that is needed to get the match right so he beats Michael Todd he gets you know the juices flowing Levon beats Dave Devin also has another showing against John Brzezink in the media at least it's a uh, hype train is happening and this match is finally made but as soon as it's made no matter who you are, you unless you are just a 100% brand new arm wrestler that is only a Devin Larratt YouTube fan, in my opinion, he is such a heavy underdog at the beginning of this, you know, flyer. And I mean, what is that, four months ago, three months ago? How long ago was it when it was announced? I'm not sure yeah. what the exact, you know, Artem, but I will tell you this for somehow in the last few months, this guy has continued to give us enough clickbait, enough information. I believe that he has gotten better, that he is more prepared for this match than I give gave him when the match was announced and I am just wondering, do you, cause I, I sense that you believe that Devin from our prior conversations is in fact a heavy underdog has that have, has his approach in the pre game hype changed your percentages at all since this has started? I mean, I, I can I only see the possibilities, Travis. I, I really can't measure their strength right now. We have ideas, but you know, I don't know how strong right now Levan is. I don't know how strong Devon is. I, I know only a few things, you know. They close the hand without getting so much tired. They stay ready to go. And Devon tries to arm wrestle in a like an orthodox way, then Levon beats him quickly. Then we go to the next one. Yeah, then that again, scenario, that is, scenario that you just said, though, there's no reason to even. <laughs> there is no, 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 no. What I'm, what I'm just saying is that, that, yeah. that never will happen. Not even close. Okay? I understand. Okay. No, no, what I'm yeah. just saying right. that, right. that that is out, out of option. You know, they, they are. Right, myself, but that also. They, too, they, 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 they tries yeah. to beat, win, you know, as he pulled with. Uh, Michael or something, I think he's losing that. And then the second one, they again start fresh and then Levan attacks and there is here somewhere, you know, and then uh, Devon stops him. 15, 20% of possibility. And then that point for if, if, if Levan is stuck there, and then he spends energy there. Even if he wins, if if he wins, then the ne next round will be even harder. It depends on how much he will struggle there. But if Devon stops him right here, and then Levan goes and stops there, if 
left one just turns and then presses forward, that I can see that if Levan has that ability, I can see that even Devon stops him, Levan can do that six times in a row. If he has that ability, whenever he stopped, you know, like the wrists are in like a neutral position together, but Levan puts all his huge body and then behind and then presses him. I don't think that, um, you know, because Devon drives his elbow back, you understand? And whenever he puts, like, he hardly finishes, he stops him there. But that is the point that when Levan is pulling, but whenever the, the forward pressure comes, I, I don't know if, if he can handle that, that pressure. But if Levan doesn't have that ability, if he cannot do that, if, if he is not good at it, then, then he may be in trouble. Then also we go back to the, back to the, um, how to say, uh, back to uh, beginning of the match. You know, I saw uh, Devon just made a uh, video. It says that, you know, oh, Levan, I don't want you to foul out. You know, that you need to get a grip, grip attempt, you know. So he's basically saying that I'm going to load you and then you need to <laughs> match up with me. If you don't match up with me and then Bill Collins is going to give you a foul and I'm going to win that way. Right. So that, that also... but, but we do know, we do know that Bill Collins is not going to call a foul on Levon for not getting a grip. Levon, you... I don't know. I don't know. Devon, Come Devon on. Says, I don't know. Devon says so. I don't know about that. Yeah. That's not my claim. Listen, listen, right. that's, that's not my right. claim. Of course. It, right. it, I didn't claim that he's going to give or he's not going to give. Of this course. is Devon's claim that he says Levon is going to foul out because of not just, you know, you know, spending his power, you know. So yeah. this is, if this is, I, I don't know if that will be the case because I don't know if, if uh, they were meant to say because he is strictly against uh, uh, those kind of fouls to be given to decide the winners. And he says that he, he is forced to like uh, audience, you know, what they enjoy, you know. I'm not yeah. sure if he would like to win that way either. It's like, so anyway, so I, I don't know because Lewan, I don't know. I talk with Lewan whenever I talk, he said that, you know, he's not going into do the, the, those kind of things before the goal. And then yeah. Devon said that he will lose that way. And then, I don't know, we will see how it will be, it, you know. I am, I, I'm just, once again, I am so jealous that that he is able to change my opinion on his you know his potential success and i'm telling you i think that uh there's a potential that this thing is rolling this media hype and before we get there on june 25th i i might i might change my whole prediction and i'm and telling you man, you're gonna bet on you're gonna bet on Devin? I am leaning towards putting my $35 on no limits. I uh I I think maybe he has he may have cranked it up another notch. Well, it's gonna do it all to you. Do you think that anybody in the North America, anybody, anybody in the world except for Ingen and Levon's teammates are not going to be crazy excitedly happy if he indeed does the king's move illegally early to take the the stink Travis, off of Travis, the big man Travis, Travis. there are a lot of there are a lot of people that see this as i say you know you are you are mistaken that only engin and levan and his teammates a lot of people like really, <laughs> I mean, doesn't think as you are thinking, just you are underestimating people, you know, a lot of people really doesn't give, like there has been many years, some of the matches from the past that they still say that that, that match was bullshit. I'm not gonna name this match or that match, but a lot of people doesn't think that way, you know, I mean. I believe that the entire humanity, humanity, wants that big Georgian giant to lose. 
I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how nice he is. It doesn't matter how sweet he is. He is at a level that makes the rest of us uncomfortable. Right. We want to see, we want to see excitement. <laughs> we want to see something that has not happened in a quite some time. So if that match does stops, and even if it stops, I don't have to go under. I can just raise my desk. But yeah, he wants to go here the match stops. And so be it. Yeah. So be it. Everybody's going to go crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you now, nobody is rooting for Levon except his family. That's it. He, and it doesn't matter how horrible do you, do you, a person do you, read, do, you, do you read? Do you read the comment sections of the, all those YouTube channels? You really think that nobody's supporting Levan? You really believe that? No, I didn't, I didn't say support. I'm not But, saying that we all don't have, uh, we have sports analysts in us, right? Like opinion, who do you think is yeah. going to win? And I'm telling yeah. you, the overwhelmingly 100, 99% of the people think Levan's going to win. Only people that Devin's family No, I'm not 100% sure that Levan is going to win. There okay. is a, there is a, no, I, I said it already, like 20% possibly that the match is going to stop there, you know. When the match is going to stop there, if Levan doesn't have anything like shoulder pressure or something. Yeah, but the only thing is that what if Devon goes down and if, if Levan puts the shoulder pressure there? I don't think that's going to surprise anybody. I'm telling you right now. No, 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 no. If what, Levan, Levan no, no, is no, no. going... I, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask I'm not asking you surprise or not. What is the result? Will Devon be able to handle that pressure? When? No, I, I yes, he will I mean, be this, able. I don't know. Under, you, I, I don't yeah, know he you, will. Like, he will be able to handle it um, under the right circumstances. And on the flip side, he will not be able to handle it if the if the lane is perfectly executed. I'd imagine. I'm telling you, I'm just the. It's easy for me to see this match. I mean, Levon is absolutely unbeatable from a size athlete. I mean, this dude is, I mean, he's got it all. He's got everything in the world that makes this the biggest, this is going to be the biggest upset in for So Travis, ever. Travis, Travis, uh, are you saying that like if they would pull in like, just versus like just say east versus west rules then then Devon has no chance to win no no Devon has a chance to win under any rules because no but, it but, doesn't but listen, yeah. listen no no the way that you explain Devon to win going down and six times you know because I mean what I'm just saying is there is there is a running foul right there running foul right so you only in yours it would be two fouls right Yeah, two fouls, and then whenever you go under, it is it is right away. It's a foul. Right. So Devin could be possibly down two to nothing and have four fouls, but each of those fouls could generate enough, you know, effort on Levon's behalf to change mm -hmm. the match. Right. I'm just telling you, that's what he has to do. He must mm -hmm. go illegal king's move in order to stop the, the lane that Levon wants to um, that Levon wants to use. And he must make Levon transition into a press multiple times. I mean, he has to, and he's going to, and it doesn't matter which rules you use. He's going to take those rules to the limit of what's fair. And I'm telling you, He's going to leave there. He's going to win. And it's going to have after he's going to win. And it's going to be so illegal that it will cause half the people to, you know, jump on the, the cheating train. But I'm telling you, no one cares if he cheats Levon's ass except Levon. And <laughs> his listen, nobody. Listen. If, 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 no, 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 Travis. Let, let's do it. If, if that match happens, as you said, And then just go read all the comment sections, but on different YouTube uh, pages, not only Devon's. You understand? Just go and read it. Then, then you will see that it's not only Levan or it's only a few people. There will be much, much more. Even are you following your your own chat? chat you know, right now. 
I mean, even you know, I mean, then even here you can find, you know, I'm time time looking at, but you but you are saying that uh, that one is gonna win that way, and you all you are betting is thirty five dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big better now. I'm not a big better. I mean, I mean, I think because it's your money. Five five thousand or something. You should bet. Whoa, Mistaken. whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I don't know. I, mean, that, that, I don't know if you've noticed the studio I have behind me, but I am not built to be gambling five thousand dollars. Plus, I really feel that Devin has no chance until he does what I just told you he's going to do, and then he's going to win, and everybody is going to go fucking crazy when he does. Mm -hmm. Crazy, and then he is. His superstar will be so big that every person will feel the same way about him that they do about Levon right now. In that, I, I, will, I, I will tell you something. Even even John would win the round one. Devin would beat him five one. Yeah, or yeah. maybe four but two. Even two, even two, even, two. even but listen, even Devin would win five one. Like what I'm just saying that even today about that match, many people are still talking from both sides about the setup, about this, about that. Still, it is not like as you said, you know, as you said. For me, for me, it's no problem if it is five one or six zero. Devon was better than John that day. I mean, people are just so much focused on that one win. But I don't know how that came to this point. We have been arm wrestling for forever. Who cares if it's five one or six zero? Except for people who bet it, who bet on that right. match. You understand? Yeah. I mean, why would you care if six zero or five one? It's five one or six zero is total domination, you know. But yeah. still, people are talking about because of the one round. People are there are a lot of people talking about that. You know how fair it was not. You know, you know this and this and what I'm just saying. You know, it, it is yeah. not as simple as you are saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just I don't think that anyone cares. If Devin cheats Levon, we are mm. very sensitive to Devin taking advantage of one John Brzee in that moment. But yeah. no one's going to have I a problem. No one. There is one, hey. there is one guy that white walls the news get down. I'm not upset at all. You know, I'm just. Hey, no, no, there's <laughs> way, but. This is the imagination, white wolf. Well, too, listen, I think it's also you have to have, do some personal reflection, Ingen. What kind of person am I that would say that that's exactly what I want to see? I want to see Devin cheat three or four rounds in order to stop this dude and then ultimately beat him. That says a little bit about me. You know what I mean? Whether I'm a creep or I'm just trying to be a comedian, but I'm telling you a lot more people have that same freaking feeling whether they want to admit it or not. And I mean, an overwhelming majority do not care if Ing if Devin takes out a 22 and claps and cracks Levon right in their shoulder right before they say go. We are all about it. Whatever it takes to take that fucking mountain down. Well, hey, there's $5 super chat from Shade Henry that agrees with you. He says Goliath must fall, just like history. Uh, but the funniest thing, Justin Cobble said it. The funniest Devin thing that could happen if Levon Kings move Devons in round one. 